Hi everybody, my name is Ed Morris and I'm Technical Manager for Altechnic. Now before we start this video, I want you to do one thing for me and that's hit subscribe. Once you've done that, you'll be notified of all the content that we upload to our YouTube page. Now that could be a training video, a webinar, a podcast, or something like a product related video that we're doing today. So make sure that you hit subscribe. Now the product we've chosen today, is filling loops or a filling loop. Now these are probably the most installed product across the UK today in sealed systems because they're key and they're critical for what we need them for. The way a sealed system works, we've got a water supply, so the wholesome water supply or mains water, and we've got the secondary system which is our heating system or tertiary system. But somehow we've got to get the water from A to B and that's where the filling loop comes in. So first of all, we'll look at the components that we have in there. We have isolation valves, Obviously, when we need to turn it on and off, so we've got isolation valve one, isolation valve two. This one's also got a double check valve in it for back flow prevention. But we've also got the filling loop as well, key part. Now, one thing that we must remember when it comes to filling loop is that this is only a temporary connection. We cannot leave it connected. That's to do with back flow prevention. We've got to make sure that we've got that physical air gap between our heating system and the wholesome water supply. So please remember, as water egg states, please disconnect the filling loop. Now, a lot of people ask is where they should install a filling loop. And the thing is, like I say, we've got to get water from the, from the mains water supply into the heating system or into your, into your sealed system. But you've also got to do that in a safe way. Now, it should be installed as close to all the auxiliary products that go with this as possible. So the main one, probably the pressure gauge. So what you want to be able to do is fill this system close to where the pressure gauge is installed. So you can see what pressure at, you can turn it off quickly. You're not running up and down stairs or going in, into different rooms to try and find out what your pressures are. So install it as close to a gauge as possible. You should be then good to go. Now, when it comes to uh, regulations or certification, now they need to comply to regulation for the water regs, whether that be RAS, Kiba or NSF or any of the regulation bodies that show Reg 4 compliance, you need to make sure that you have that compliance to install it into the water authority's uh, water systems. Now, if you want any more information on this, please visit our website, which is www.altechnic.co.uk, where you will find product information, but you'll also find some good technical documents and some know-how documents. Thank you for watching.